Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to see problem number 1456, maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have the first example from the Liquid website. So here we have an input string that is S. And we need to find a substring which contains maximum number of vowels right we need to find the maximum number of vowels substring and that substring should be a length of k right so here we have three right as k so first i need to check the first three characters this is a length of three right that is k length so I need to check how many vowels it contains. This is a substring. ABC is a substring in a string. So in this substring, I have one vowel, right? The, so the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, right? These are my vowels. So within this substring, that is A, right? So I will increase my count as one, right? Then I need to move the window. I need to check in this substring. I need to neglect A now. I need to extend my window. The reason why we are neglecting A is we need to only have a length of K. The substring we need to have only a length of K. That is three in this case. That is a constraint, right? So we need to find a situation or a substring where we have maximum number of vowels. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially, I will be having two variables where I will keep track of the ma maximum vowel count in MV. For keeping track of the current vowel count, I will have CV. So both will be initialized as zero at the start. So then I will write a for loop where I will iterate through the input string, right? So initially, I will be having i is equal to 0. See here i is represents the index value and ch represents the current character. So current character is a here. So this is the index of a that is 0 and current character a. Right? This is my first value that is the first character in my window. Then I need to check whether the current character that is a is a vowel or not so vowels are a e i o u so here a is a vowel so i will increase the current count as one then i will update my max count by taking maximum between max count itself that is mv and the current count so here zero and one so my max count will be one now then I will pick the next character that is B and its index 1, right? Then it is not a vowel. Then I need to check whether it is a vowel or not. So B is not a vowel, right? So I will just increase my window. So now I will pick C and its index. So then I need to check whether C is a vowel or not. C is not a vowel, right? So then I can neglect. I don't have to increase my current count. So by the time I will be updating my max count. Since we are not increasing our current count, I'm just not showing the, that particular steps here, right? So here we will take maximum between the current max count and current count, which is nothing but one, right? Both are one, so maximum between them is one. So my maximum count won't change here, right? So now I will increase my window size, right? So now I will pick the current character as i and its index 3. So now check the substring is more than the given length k. There are four strings here, right? But we need to have only three. So in this case, I will write another condition where if my current index is greater than equal to k, if it is greater than the substring length k, and 
we need to neglect this character right that is a right we need to reduce the length here we need to make the window b c and i we need to throw the a out so now i will check if this character that is the the character we are throwing out if it is a vowel we need to reduce the current count to access this character we need to take difference between i minus k right if we do i minus k we will get access to the character what we are throwing out of the window right so then we need to check if this character is a vowel or not a is a vowel right so since we are throwing out of the window we need to reduce our current to count by 1 so now our current count becomes 0 right so we are still here only in the third index right so now i need to check the current character i is a vowel or not i is a vowel right so we need to increase the current count then we need to take maximum between current count and maximum count and we need to update the max count so in this case it's going to be one only right so then i need to increase my window size again we have four characters we need to throw b out right then i will pick the current character that is i right that is i right we are in the fourth index so our index will be four now since the length of the substring is greater than the given substring length that is three we need to throw b out of the window right so i need to check whether b is a vowel or not b is not a vowel so we don't have to decrease the current count of the vowel right we, it will be one only then i need to check the current character that is this i it is a vowel right so we need to increase the current count by one so it's going to be two and we need to take maximum between max count and current count so the maximum value is two so this two will be my max count now right then again we need to pick the this i that is the fifth index i that is the current character now right so now our window increases to four so we need to throw c out so since c is not a vowel we don't have to reduce our current count by one and we need to check the current character the fifth index i that is a vowel right so we need to increase the current count by three so maximum between two and three is three so we need to update our max count as three then i will pick the next character that is d then the index of d is six so now the window will be like this since the length of the window is more than the given length that is three right the given length is three but the current window size what we have is four so we need to throw i out so i is a vowel right so in this case we need to reduce the current to count by one so it will become two now right then we need to check the current character whether it is a vowel or not so in this case d is not a vowel so we don't have to increase the current count value then we need to take maximum between three and two since max count is maximum so we don't have to update our maximum count right then we pick the next character e and its index seven so now the window becomes like this now we need to throw this i out since that is also a vowel we need to decrease our current count by one then we need to check the current character whether it is a vowel or not yes it is a vowel right e is a vowel here so we need to increase our current count by one again we need to take maximum between these two since maximum count is more here we don't have to update then we need to pick the next character f and its index is eight right 
so again we need to throw this i out of the window since that particular i is a bubble we need to reduce the current count by one then we need to check whether f is a vowel or not that is the current character it is not a vowel right so we don't have to do anything then we need to take maximum between three and one so the max count is three since the maximum count is more we don't have to update anything then finally we need to return maximum count that is three right that is the answer for this particular example so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be constant space right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm taking all the vowel characters in a set right then i need to initialize the maximum count and the current count as zero right then i will be writing the for loop where i will take the index and the current character using enumerate function from the current given input right then i need to check whether the index is greater than given k and then we need to check whether the character that we are throwing out of the window is in my bubble or not if it is a bubble we need to reduce the current count by one then i will check whether the current character is a bubble or not if it is a bubble i will increase my current count by one right then we need to keep on updating our maximum count by taking maximum between maximum count itself then the current count right then finally we will return the maximum count that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys